Alright everybody, this is a master padlock, and if you take a look at it, see if it'll come in here. It is a number three master lock. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick this open and uh, see how easy that that can be done. But before we go ahead and do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back and we'll get started. All right, hopefully everybody made it back. The tools that we're going to use is a tor torch, I oh, can't speak today, a torsion wrench. And this kind of simulates the uh, key turning. And then this is called a W rake. I don't know if you can see that or not. It kind of looks like a little bit of a W there. Uh, I've been picking locks for all about one day. I decided to get into it because I think it is something that will be useful uh, in a preparedness type situation. Uh, even though I'm not a prepper, I'm a prepping enthusiast, and I just figured this was a skill set that I should learn. Now I'm a lefty. This is kind of tough with the camera in a way. Uh, so I'm going to pick this upside down because that seems to work best for me being left-handed. So I'll put this in, and I use my thumb to kind of apply some tension to that to turn the uh, internal cylinder. I'll just put this rake in here and see what happens. watch it not go. I think this is a five pin lock, but again, I'm uh, pretty new to this. And there you go. It's that easy to go ahead and open up. Now I bought these locks a while ago thinking it was a nice secure lock. I'm not saying it's not a nice secure lock. It says right here, tough under fire. It's got a bullet hole in the, uh, in the picture and it says this is hardened. But uh, realistically, I got this lock pick today, and uh, within a matter of minutes, I was able to pick this thing consistently, and I've done it about 20 times today. So, thought I'd make a quick video. That's it. All right, folks. Thanks.